Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to export an SSL certificate from Apache server. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. To export SSL certificate from Apache server, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Login into your VPS or server through SSH. Step 2. Search .crt and .key files of the domain's SSL certificate. Step 3. File location of .crt and .key. Step 4. Create PFX file for export. First, we will see the prerequisites. You must have a root access or access to a user with pseudo privileges. Let's follow the steps which we have mentioned at the beginning of this video. Step 1. Login into your VPS or server through SSH. First of all you have to log into your server through SSH as a root user or a user with pseudo privileges. To do this, enter the following command in the terminal. Replace the IP address and port number with your actual server IP address and SSH port number. Copy this commands. And paste it on the terminal and press enter. Enter the password of the root user in the password field and press enter. Congratulations! You are logged into your server. Step 2. Search .crt and .key files of the domain's SSL certificate. Once you log in into your server, you need to find .crt and .key file of your domain's SSL certificate. You can use the following commands to find the files. Step 3. File location of .crt and .key. Generally, .crt and .key files will be located under the following path. The full path should be as follows. Let's see in the action. First, we will see how to find .crt file from the command line. Enter the following command in the terminal to find .crt file of your domain name. Here we have used domain name demo vps test.com as an example. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Scroll up the screen and search the domain name of which SSL certificate you want to transfer. This is the actual path where .crt of your website or domain name is stored. You will have to copy this path and store it in a text file. Now, we will see how to find .key file from the command line. Enter the following command in the terminal to find .key file of your domain name. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Scroll up the screen and search the domain name of which SSL certificate you want to transfer. This is the actual path where .key file of your website or domain name is stored. You will have to copy this path and paste it in a text file. Step 4. Create PFX file for export. To create PFX file, you will need to execute the following command in the terminal. In the place of output underscore filename, enter a filename with full path for generating file in the PFX format. 
Please make sure that the file extension should be in .pfx. For example slash home slash dmoviepstest slash dmoviepstest.pfx. Here we have used this path as an example. In the place of key underscore file name, enter the path of the private key which you have copied during the file location step. In the place of certificate underscore file name, enter the path of the certificate which you have copied during the file location step. Copy the command and paste it on the terminal. After then press enter to execute it. Once you press enter, you will be asked to set a password. Please enter a unique password and press enter. Again enter the same password which you have entered above and press enter. Congratulations, pfx file has been created. Please keep the password in a safe place because you will need it when you import the SSL certificate on a new server. If you want to see the pfx file where it is created then go to the path which you have mentioned in the output underscore filename place. Copy the path. Go to the terminal. Type cd space paste the path which you have copied. After then press enter. Type ls, l and press enter. You can see .pfx file created in the home directory. You can download this generated pfx file and import it into Windows Server. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to export SSL certificate from Apache server. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.